And the Speaker, Right Honorable Tajodina Bass, on Monday unveiled the Thent Legislative House Needs Assessment Report at a Development Partners Stakeholders Meeting in Abuja. The report is a fallout of the partnership arrangement reached at the twilight of the leadership of the Femi Bajabiamila led Ninth House and Development Partners on ways to improve the capacity of lawmakers in addressing development issues in the country. That enhancing the, the capacity and effectiveness of parliamentary institutions in the country. The program focuses on strengthening the National Assembly by providing support, training and technical assistance to parliamentarians and parliamentary staff in areas such as legislative drafting, policy analysis, budgeting, oversight, representation, etc. It is intended to harness parliamentary development programs whose objectives may include strengthening democratic governance, legislative reform and policy advocacy, strengthening parliamentary procedures and practices, enhancing oversight and accountability, and strengthening parliamentary administration. The Speaker, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, who was represented by the Deputy Speaker, Right Honorable Benjamin Kalu, says... The document is in line with the French legislative agenda, which is to uplift the legislative standard of the National Assembly and to ensure transparency and accountability in legislative business. This is in line with our legislative agenda, which identifies the strengthening of internal capacity of the legislature as a critical factor towards achieving all our other legislative objectives. As a result, the document before us today reflects our current capabilities and the urgent requirements needed to elevate the standard of our legislative functions. The need for continuous capacity strengthening in the legislature is well known to us all. The high turnover rate at the National Assembly poses a significant challenge to maintaining continuity and building on the institutional knowledge that is crucial for effective governance. While acknowledging that the document is a work in progress, the development partners agree that the document will improve the quality and capacity of legislation going forward. The partnership will further improve the relationship between the House and the civil society organization in addressing capacity gaps for the growth and development of the country. It is what I have talked about getting involved in national development discourse. The second like it is that expanding the circle of support to include non-traditional intervention providers. Now we are talking about engaging with organized private sector. We're talking about philanthropists, we're talking about civil society, even within the national uh, economy that can engage with uh, the national assembly but more importantly with respect to capacity there has been a redefinition of capacity that is not only the honorable members that need capacity the personnel the staff need capacity even the citizens that want to engage with the house also need capacity and if you have this elaborate notion of what capacity means is, it will be easy for us to have an understanding. ...that UNDP, as the global lead development agency with a mandate of governance and support to parliamentary institutions, will continue to support the legislative agenda and the government of Nigeria to fulfill their obligations to the citizens. I would like to wish everyone here well today in our collective efforts to coordinate and operationalize. Yes, the CAS is convinced that the needs assessment that will be presented today will 
definitely serve as a solid and robust foundation to implement the legislative agenda, which is, of course, what, what we are all about and what we are set out. And I also want to take up what Prof just said, that this is a work in progress. This is a living document, so let's fill it with life and let's keep it alive, please. And the third and last point is that we need to be clear that we need to make monitoring of the legislative agenda and monitoring the implementation a priority for all of us. Um, the Konrad Adenauer Stiftung is truly from the bottom of my heart very grateful for this opportunity that we need face to face leadership legislators. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.